Hey, Tyler Theater Design Company, going to do part three of our home theater build. We're also going to do a final full home theater tour on this room. So we're stepping through the uh, entryway right now, which, as you know, we've raised up uh, to step into the theater. Original plan was to step into the theater and then step up onto a riser. So we've done this before walking to the theater, which really changed the whole aspect of the room. All right, as you can see, the room's pretty much put together. Um, did something a little bit different on here. Hopefully, you guys can learn some stuff if you're into that, the DIY guys. Uh, so anyway, I got some info on the column. Um, again, the room is pretty much put together, even carpet pads installed. We had a bit of a snafu with the uh, Joy Carpet Company, but they're working on it. We've got light cans in, star ceiling in, all the speakers are in. The system, as of this uh, video, making this video, uh, was about 90% as of me editing it. The room is complete minus carpet and some tweaks and cleaning. Uh, screen, 120-inch Dragonfly screen, acoustically transparent. Uh, Klipsch RP250 LCR speakers. Got some info here on the poster, and we ended up building the posters for the customer because it would have never got the frames to match the millwork. The second column on both the left and right side are acoustically transparent fabric for the side speakers. The rear speakers, we ended up custom painting the grills. We got some info on those access panels in the back. We had to do those. As we pan up, you can see we got the front and rear present speakers in. We've got the star ceiling in. It's a 42 inch by eight foot per panel. So it's a pretty large star ceiling. And I think you'll uh, find the final walkthrough. This is a really cool room. Thanks again for watching. And please subscribe. As you can see by the image that popped up, we are pretty much wrapped up with the room and we'll do a full home theater tour on this uh, with descriptions to all the equipment that's in it and kind of a final photo, final walkthrough of the finished room should be really cool. That should be in about three weeks as I head out for vacation for a couple weeks for the summer. And then we wrap the job up when we get back. Thanks a lot. Thanks again. The columns on this theater were built out of three quarter inch poplar. They were then milled. We used a Craig pocket tools to screw them together. Of course, glue was involved. And then we stained these, let them sit for two days, and then we continued to test fit them and wrap individual panel inserts after routing a quarter inch by three eighths inch rabbit into the wood. We then wrapped the panels in Guilford of Maine onyx fabric where they are tacked in with three eighths inch staples, kind of like a picture frame would tack their corners. We then use Z clips on the top and bottom as well as on the wall to get a tight snug fit. We then go do a rubber foam surround that we also staple into the back. That prevents the panel from vibrating on the wall. It also eliminates any seams and light shining through the panel. On the two side panels, we've prepped that for the clip speakers to pass through, so those are open. On the stage, as you can see, we've uh, framed the stage out of standard 2x4s, um, 3 quarter inch top plywood. It's uh, 26 inches deep, 24 inches tall, and then as you can see by the photo, we have an opening for the Klipsch RP1400 subs, and then on the center right, we have an opening for the... Uh, Equipment rack that slides in there. It's a uh, strong rolling rack. Uh, Strong's company that uh, we use quite a bit, that in Mid-Atlantic. And then that's also got an opening, acoustically transparent, a little bit for ventilation, but mainly for uh, infrared for the devices that still use uh, infrared remote. And the first panel, second panel, and fourth panel all are Velcroed on with little stays on the bottom to keep the Velcro from sliding down. The third panel, where the equipment's at, We'll actually open up on a hinge door system so you can get into the rack, uh, put a disc in, uh, grab your game controllers, and so on. And then as you can see behind here, we've also utilized this space to put our lighting controllers, our Epic Skylink, and then uh, some Lutron lighting. It's a Radio Raw 3 lighting system in here. So it's a four-button keypad, uh, dimmer, and then three switches to turn the cove lighting on, the stairs lights, the star ceiling lights. And then over at the entrance to the theater, you've got your sconce light switch and your dimmer switch. And then last, uh, just a quick photo of the material we use for the stage top, which uh, ironically enough is just hardwood flooring. But we got the uh, stain and the hardwood flooring to match before we kind of stained it. We matched these together as a pre-planned system.
So this is just a quick shot of the poster frames we built. So the inside dimensions of those are uh, just shy of 24 by 36. So it'll fit most common movie posters. And then we had the client order some, uh, just off Amazon, some glass picture frames to keep it rigid on the front. And then we uh, mounted those through the back using some picture frame clips and so on. And then these are Z-clipped on the top with uh, two Z-clips because they have some weight with the glass. And then rubber stoppers on the bottom to keep vibrations away. So here's one of the access panels we built for the uh, furnace cover on the back. As you can see, it's uh, we actually modified it and put uh, two grills in there, plenty of ventilation to circulate through for the furnace. And then we've uh, glued and screwed the trim on the bottom and the reveal around. So it's screwed in with three screws on each side, uh, plenty secure. And then the front facing one, we didn't want any visible uh, vents or anything like that for aesthetics. So that one's just uh, screwed in with three screws on each side, but the panel itself is almost identical. And uh, here's a quick video of it kind of showing it uh, built in there. Uh, it turned out super nice. We're super pleased with the access panels. All right, and the last little bit of info on this video is just the star ceiling kit. Um, we do it from Epic Sky. I've got three or four different videos on our YouTube channel on star ceilings. The only difference on this one and the only thing I'm highlighting is this panels are extremely large for most star ceilings. Since they're able to be built on site, we were able to do them at 42 inches by 8 feet times 3, of course, uh, which just gives it a massive star ceiling uh, you know, feature there. And it's also nice. It only gives you two seams down the middle. Um, and so it's a two-kit star ceiling. Uh, if my math serves me right, it's over 500 stars, fiber optic stars. And again, the star ceiling itself is uh, close to 10 feet by 8 feet. All right, thanks again. Please subscribe. Um, again, I'll do a final video on this. Um, I kind of did this one in two sections with a walkthrough and then more of a tutorial at the end. Um, I had a couple clients that wanted to do that. And of course, I wanted our clients on this theater to have some documentations of their room. All right, thanks again. Appreciate it.